Now, after the heat of the Indian summer, it's turning chilly. Let's find out more. Here's Dan. Hello there, we've been talking about the cold weather all week. It's finally arrived on cue and it came courtesy of this cold front that went through this morning. It gave us a splash of rain, not a lot of rain, one or two showers following on behind. But if you follow these isobars all the way behind that front, they're coming down from the Arctic. That's where our air is coming from as we go through today, tonight and indeed through the weekend as well. And so our story for the weekend begins on the coast. This is the North Sea, of course, at Lowestoft. Some sunshine around today from one of our weather watchers, but it's the sea here that's the crucial thing to the weather this weekend. The temperature of the water here is about 13, 14 degrees. It's warmer than normal for this time of the year. And when you bring in a lot of cold air over the top of these relatively warm seas, you generate a lot of showers. It's the wind direction then that dictates where the showers go and therefore which parts of the region will see showers this weekend. Now, in a northwesterly wind, most of the showers tend to affect north and east Norfolk into northeast Suffolk. Elsewhere, usually in this sort of situation, it's largely dry. If the winds turn around to the north, then the risk of showers extends over a greater area across the eastern half of our region. Still further west, you are mainly dry. But if the winds turn around to the northeast, then the risk of showers extends to pretty much all parts of the region, particularly focused down these eastern coasts through the Thames estuary. And also, you sometimes get a line of showers feeding in through the wash into Peterborough and Northamptonshire. So it's the wind direction this weekend that will dictate whether you see the showers or if you stay dry. And for the time being, this evening and tonight, it is mainly a northwesterly wind, so it's mainly Norfolk and northeast Suffolk that's seeing the showers tonight. Elsewhere, one or two in the south first thing, but a lot of dry, clear weather and cold weather. Temperatures getting down to freezing in some places, so low enough for a bit of frost. Still a blustery wind and still some fairly choppy seas around the coast tonight as well. Into Saturday, it's a bright enough cold start, though, for many of us. But those showers already in Norfolk will extend further inland. Watch how the winds are just turning a bit more round to the northeast, so the shower risk extending by the afternoon. And these could be heavy with some hail indicated by the white here, maybe some rumbles of thunder, particularly near the coast. On the thermometer, temperatures will read 7 to 9 degrees, but factoring that very brisk northerly, and it'll feel a lot colder than that. And as the winds continue to turn around more to the northeast through Saturday evening and night, those showers continue to feed in from the North Sea. Again, heaviest and most frequent near the coast, but also extending further west. And because there's quite a lot of showers around tomorrow night, it won't be quite so cold, but temperatures still down into the low to mid single figures. Of course, don't forget the clocks go back one hour during the early hours of Sunday as well. And then for Sunday daytime, the showers by the afternoon becoming more confined to the coast. Inland, we're starting to dry up. There should be more sunshine by Sunday afternoon. The wind's easing down, perhaps a little bit less cold, but still 9 or 10 is below average, with still a bit of a keen northeasterly wind. Now, I think for Monday, inland parts should be mainly dry, but there will be further showers near the coast, courtesy of that easterly wind. And at the moment, the risk of some rain also spreading in from the east as we go into Tuesday, but a little bit of uncertainty about that at the moment. And of course, with all that cold air around, we've got some pretty cold nights, so the potential for some fairly widespread frost, particularly Sunday night into Monday morning. Oh, chilly. That's all from the Geese. We're back after the main news at 10 tonight. For now, from all of us here in Cambridge, have a great evening. Bye-bye.